What's going on guys? This is Cam. In today's video, we're going to be looking at a brand by Iman Gutsy, recently launched direct-to-consumer beverage brand. I don't know what it is about these beverage brands, but in the last week, I've had four to five brands in this space reach out to me directly to see what kind of website magic we can do. Now, what we're going to discover in today's video is what Iman is doing right, what he is doing wrong, and what he can do better from a conversion rate standpoint to turn more visitors into paying customers. Now, it looks like they're already sold out. So they got some good problems. I don't know if it was a limited time drop or this is some type of scarcity as they get stock in. I don't know. But again, let's look at what these guys can do from a conversion rate standpoint because I know Iman is notorious for running paid ads. Uh, so if they're going to be running paid ads to a brand like this, CPA costs are going to be very, very high. So it's going to be very important. They have all the bells and whistles from a conversion rate standpoint the position, the brand for success. So let's get into it. So what we're gonna do is go page by page. At the end of this video, I'm gonna show you guys a page that truly has that wow factor. I mean, very unconventional when it comes to e-commerce, so stick around, because you're definitely gonna wanna see that. Now, when we come to the homepage, above the fold section, refined hydration, redefined performance. Love it, short, simple, to the point. We usually like to keep the headline less than eight words. So, uh, and, and this looks like a very minimalistic brand. Uh, as you can see sort of through the packaging. So they didn't want to overdo it with too much verbiage. Uh, so I think this headline is strong to the point and direct. Love the subtext. Now, most people would say it's not creative enough. Guys, it's exactly what you want to do because I know exactly what kind of products these guys are going to be providing to me. And what they've done is they've utilized their name just to enhance the brand awareness so as people are, are, are scrolling or say they leave the site, big day is, is something that is a reoccurring theme as they see remarketing ads and whatnot. So very important when you guys are sort of writing your website copy to repeat certain verbiages or certain phrases that are associated to the brand's ethos. So, all right. So as we scroll down here, you can see they have some essential points in regards to what this brand stands for. It's on autoplay, which I do like because there's not too many points. It's not too overwhelming and it's highlighting some of the key points. Now, what you convey here is more important than, um, you know, just the element itself. Right. Because a lot of people, they're like, well, yeah, you should have like your U USBs, your unique selling propositions, but you should have the right USBs, the USBs that people actually give a damn about. So. If I'm buying this product and I care about having the best performance for my big day, this is probably something that I can associate to helping me really perform because I can associate caffeine to higher levels of energy. Six electrolytes, I don't know what that simply means. It seems like it's more so a feature than it is a benefit. To be honest, all of these are features except this one point, right? people want instant that could be defined as a benefit um but you know mixing features and benefits is definitely not the w right way to go we would separate the features and benefits if we want to highlight some of the features in regards to this product maybe with little icons around the product itself zero sugar no artificial sweetener so i know exactly what the bottle contains and that image would also help me you know sort of foresee that and then here you can really just highlight on maybe three benefits that are actually going to be derived uh, from this product and help me get that big day. And, and again, guys, very important that you set the tone and you keep it consistent when it comes to your messaging. So I could use some work here as we go down. Love the product photography. Very clean, very to the point. Um, and I'm not going to go to the product page just yet. So as we go down, we got Iman himself utilizing the product, which is going to be very, very important. You know, what I like about this is it, it all reflects that athletic individual, right? Someone who's out and about doing what they love when it comes to daily workouts, playing sports, whatever it is. And this product could be associated to the context of these images, which is very, very smart. You know, Iman could have just been in the office sitting now drinking this, but you could see the choice of imagery is very, very selective. The smart solution for hydration, ingredients specifically targeted to deliver essential and convenient hydration, and beautiful. The reason why this is beautiful, guys, is when you look at the copy, okay, when you look at the copy here, remember he promised the big day from day one, 
each of these ingredients, he's touching on how it's going to help you get to that big day outcome. Very, very important because a lot of the times brands just put their ingredients or they put copy in, re in regards to what that ingredient is, but always tie your ingredients to the end benefit that you've promised. And again, I've, I've, men I've mentioned this multiple times, keeping your messaging consistent is very, very important. Here you have, I don't know what this is, just a set of images. I don't like images in just a setting in which you're, you're going to be eating or you're like working. Again, if you're going to keep it consistent, you want to show your ICP, your ideal customer or ideal client profile, utilizing the product in the best use uh, context. So this is a good image. This is a good image. This is a good image. And since we already know this is Iman's brand, since he highlighted it here, show customers, right? Show customers. It's going to be uh, much more to your advantage. And Iman probably could get some higher profile individuals who are more so in the athletic space to actually be utilizing this product. And, and that in itself is, is really going to create a buzz around this website. Big day. So it's just him and his friend drinking. Um, you know, again, when it comes to the video, just making sure that if you want to keep it very lifestyle orientated and not really dive into the product itself, show the benefits, right? So again, the message has been, this is for your big day. Show yourself running, show yourself lifting, show yourself in different high pressure situations uh, and how this drink is sort of helping you perform or be at your peak going to be very, very important. But videos do have higher retention rates uh, from a brand recall standpoint on websites. So it's it's definitely not bad to have. But again, if someone is going to view this video and it's not adding value to their buying decision, I mean, you're going to lose. So let's go to the collection page, pretty standard collection page and then product page, one line description. Great. Uh, because most people today, they just scan websites. So I have uh, clear insights on exactly, you know, what this product is. I don't know what this is. Okay, it's a little glitch there. So quantity, flavor, out of stock. This is great, guys. Like, you know, utilize your photo carousel section. Highlight and try to sell your products in the photo carousel section. Don't rely on everything below the fold to do what you can do above the fold. Damn, that's a quote. That's a quote. Whoever's editing this, make that a quote. Uh, so let's let's go down. Okay, photo carousel done. Oh, this is this is a cool little graphic highlighting the ingredients. Try to get visual on the boring parts. You'd be shocked how many people are gonna look through the ingredients and look at something like this. But if you can add something that's a little more visual, I don't even know what potassium is gonna do for me but it's it's a pretty big number i guess so it's good guys that's how people think it's crazy i know um so as we go down they they mention the same features slash benefits as before but here i love this section i don't know about sort of the actual structure because it seems like very big but guys very strong copy here so an essential pick me up You've had those groggy days, those days where you're down, but you know you need to perform. Such a strong section here. No more feeling flat. You need to replenish what you lose. Oh, that's that's a great way to look at it. More hydrating than just water. Awesome. Making a comparison to uh, pre-existing solutions and then convenient hydration. Yeah, love it. Such such an essential element and the placement is perfect because when we look at consumption rates around 50 percent of users will actually see this section and this is why when you guys think about the structure of your website making sure your essential points are higher above the fold to prompt a continuous scroll because if you put an element that isn't as important like let's say this guy puts something like hey we're like eco-friendly the user who's buying this product does not give a damn if the product's eco-friendly. It's going to be immediate turn off. You're going to see drop off rates massively increase. But he highlighted what the audience wants to see. Here he's touching on who it's for. Show your ICP, not your product. Show your, your ideal customer. Like, look, if, if these guys are working 
and this product's ideal for top tier athletes, that is what you want. If it's entrepreneurs and business owners who are overwhelmed, that is who you want there. Uh, so they have a different UI for the ingredients. Uh, I, I don't know what this means. It's like, it's like cool, but people want to see like the good stuff. Show them the ingredients. And then you got the same videos. Beautiful frequently asked section. Uh, I'm not going to dive into the, the quality of the questions, but I'm going to dive into the structure because this is very important. Most people, they stack their frequently asked questions and it's like sort of like a, you know, it's like a chapter book. You got to look, 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 look. With this, it's very visually appealing, easy to the eye. They did a two by two instead of a one by one. I don't even know if that makes sense, but a one column st structure. They did a two column structure. Everything's open. So as you hover over, you're going to get all the insights you need. Uh, so you're reducing the number of clicks someone has to take to consume the same amount of information. Now, the moment of truth, guys, they have a super dope section where you can actually tour his house and he's very well known for showcasing his house and whatnot on, on IG and YouTube. And he's showcasing the products within the, the house setting. So super, super cool section here. Does it do anything for conversions i really don't know because this is a very new design element uh, drake actually introduced it, at least from what i know so if you look at drake's site right now he literally has the same structure where you can tour different places in his house and it's actually super cool because each of these links redirect to a product page right so very interactive fun way to look at it but again <laughs> i don't have any data on whether or not this stuff converts so do not come at my neck if you roll out a page like this you push traffic to it and it completely flops but it's a super cool idea and i could see websites in some way shape or form incorporating something like this but again aesthetics don't sell products guys i'll just i'll leave you guys with that uh but it's 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 definitely something new interesting and good for someone who has a massive brand uh, I just think it, it just adds a little more brand awareness, but yeah, super cool element here. Inspiration was definitely spewed by Mr. Drake and uh, that sort of concludes this video. We looked at the homepage, the product page, the house tour page. Do not push paid traffic to a page like this though, guys, please don't, but it's a super cool idea. I think it's going to be best applicable for clothing brands. There you have it, guys. That is a full assessment of Iman Gutsy's new brand, Big Day website behind the brand you already know what whenever iman does something he does it big so all the best to him maybe you could use some of the tips and pointers used on in this video to turn more visitors into dollars and that wouldn't hurt would it this is cam from solvex guys i will see you on the greener side